Hi guys, Wade Rush, RushLanePoultry.com. Um, I finally, you see, I finally got to building all these uh, Omaha Steak Styrobators that my buddy Barry gave me. 33 quart Styrobators, we got them all put together. Um, thing is, I'm going to show you guys how I put them together. Uh, one of them, we're using a recycled Samex thermostat. They come out of this uh, space heater right here. I uh, built a heat box for my big hatcher outside out of the space heater. They had some burned up wiring in it, but the thermostat was good. And we're going to recycle it and going to install it in one of these incubators here. And we're also going to install into a couple of them. We're going to install these modified water heater thermostats. You see where I got a 3 16 holes drilled in here so that the airflow can get through there really good. We're going to install that in a couple of these. Already got one installed right here and uh, it's holding it 100 degrees. It's actually been running for three days, guys. And holding at 100 degrees and 66 percent humidity and so uh, we're going to get started here in just a little bit and we'll show you how we put them together be right back to you hey guys finally got back it's the next day it's saturday i gave out a juice last night and couldn't get back to it well anyway what we're talking about is cost on this thing here and seeing if we can make it work i picked this up at lowe's uh yesterday eight dollars fifty seven cent uh i think it ended up being eight dollars and ninety six cent after tax so we're just going to call this $9. I'll make a note of this on the video too so we can kind of keep track of cost. $9 on a thermostat. This was miscellaneous wire. Like I said, we recovered from uh, when we uh, were working on the semi-trucks installing the tracking units. We got this for free. Uh, a lot of that, but in my case, some folks may have buy a little bit of wire, but I didn't have to. And it's about what I had to do. So I got this for free. Zero. This little fan... I got a bag full of them uh, off of eBay with uh, free shipping. This was a dollar for this little fan right here. So, one dollar. This came from Goodwill. This is a uh, power cord for a small appliance. It's a dollar. That's what I'm going to use for a power cord. And what else did I have? Oh, it was my... Uh, these uh, these little sockets, these outdoor sockets, are a dollar and seventy five cent at Lowe's uh, a piece. We need two of those, so I think that almost comes to uh, two dollars and fifty cent, three dollars and fifty cent, three dollars and fifty. Yeah, dollar seventy five twice is three dollars and fifty cent. All right, and last but not least, we want to be able to see through the top of this thing right here. And so there's a lot of different ways we can do that, but I don't like to have to cut plexiglass unless I have to. And, and so I go into Goodwill a lot and see this little picture frame, five by seven piece of glass. We just broke down the uh, picture frame, took it out. It was a dollar at Goodwill. So our glass, one dollar. You're not gonna go to Ace uh, Hardware or anything like that and get a pane of glass cut out for a dollar. So we're gonna use this. We're gonna mount this on here is our viewing glass. And since it is glass and not plexiglass, we're not gonna have problems with heat warping the glass or anything like that. So I think that gives us a pretty good breakdown on, uh, on the actual money that we have involved. I haven't added it up, but I will on the video, so we'll know it, uh, at this point. So in the next segment, we're gonna, uh, all right guys, uh, I'm fixing to get to assembling here. The last thing I didn't mention, these are appliance bulbs, 25 watt a piece. Uh, I figure which is gonna be plenty good enough for this box right here, $2.50 at Walmart. See, folks, okay. that's why I like this whole saw so much. Before I get out of here, we'll, uh, we'll line this up on this styrofoam right here. Get it close. See, it makes a nice, neat hole for my socket to fit in there, guys. All right, I'm going to drill out this next hole. We're going to get this thermostat mounted here on the other side and all that, and then I'll get right back to you. Okay guys, uh, you see we got the holes drilled here and this is, uh, what I'm using is the Permatex Clear RTV silicone sealant. That just happens to be what they had on sale at the time and all that Permatex stuff works pretty good. I'm a car guy, I've been a tech for over 30 years. So I've got all kinds of automotive stuff laying around here. Uh, so you take this right here, we're gonna run a good bead of sealant around it. See, we got a good bead right there around the, uh, the perimeter there. So now, because is, this is inch and a half thick foam, whenever I start this thing in here, we're going to twist it like this right here and make sure that it gets up and sticks on the walls of this cooler till we got it right about, we're just eyeballing it here, guys. 
right about there like that. That looks good. And then my last touch, all of this is going to be covered. Most of this, these little spots where this wire is exposed, little tiny fingers could get shocked if they were to touch it. So I shoot a bead of Permatex in there and any of these holes that go all the way through right here on this socket. We just seal this off. All right, guys.